who's responsible for starvation? What would you say? Yeah. I think it, you know, it has to be centrally state, uh, you know, two things I would say actually. One is uh, uh, failures of state policy. It's a profound, uh, comprehensive failure of state policy, particularly in a country. See, countries uh, which, are, you know, uh, which are poorer than India, much poorer than India, Sub-Saharan Africa, Bangladesh in our neighborhood, countries which have uh, uh, far less sort of state capacities, countries which don't have such strong democracies, countries which don't grow enough food, countries which, uh, uh, which should have had far more difficulty, have actually done much better in reversing both hunger and malnutrition. So I think the, the, the stubborn uh, persistence globally, every third Indian, third person who sleeps hungry in the world is Indian today. And, 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 and this is preventable hunger and suffering. You know, one, somebody's done a calculation that, the num that uh, uh, how many people die of completely preventable causes uh, in India uh, every year. And uh, the figure is two million. And two million, and to put that, uh, put that figure in, in perspective, the last huge famine we had before the British left in 43 took three million lives. So this is this, you know, this, this invisible, you know, like low intensity kind of, uh, uh, you know, which is really like a humanitarian crisis, which we don't acknowledge. That I think the state is, is centrally responsible. But I would also say that an, a new book that I've just, just written, uh, I've called it Looking Away, uh, Inequality, Prejudice and Indifference in New India. Uh, you know, it's a new thinking in my own heart and mind. I mean, I feel that I, I hold the state accountable, but in the end, mi the middle class Indian uh, lack of outrage at enormous suffering and inequality uh, around us, and the street child, the 50,000 street kids who sleep hungry, uh, sleep on the streets of Delhi, in the city I live in. And, and the fact that it, you, know, you put your child to sleep, you give her the best the world can buy, uh, and, and that a kilometer away is another child who's you know, s uh, sleep under the open sky, find her food in a rubbish heap, a, tr a trash heap, will never see the inside of a school. The fact that we, and we see the, this inequality all around us, so the absence of outrage. So I think the culpability of, of people of privilege and of the middle class, alongside the failures of the state, are both responsible uh, for this.